The Abbott ID Now Rapid Testing Unit is the gold standard in rapid testing technology. When you receive your Abbott ID Now unit and printer, ensure that every component has been included. This includes the ID Now, printer, and their power cables. Note, do not throw away any Abbott boxes, they will be needed. Begin by connecting the proper adapter to the power supply for your country's power outlets. Then connect the power supply to the Abbott ID Now. The power supply for the printer comes in two parts. Connect the two parts and plug them into the printer and wall outlet. The third cable that comes with the printer is a USB connection cable. Connect the printer to the ID now as shown. Turn on the Abbott ID now by holding down the power button on the side for three seconds. You will see the display turn on and begin to initialize. Turn on the printer by flipping the switch on the back as shown. Once the ID now initializes, it will ask for a username and password. Both the username and password are admin. If the machine is brand new, you will need to access Setup in the Home menu. Setup will allow you to use the machine. It will give you the users, which is just one user, which is the admin, and then also give you the preferences. If you hit that Preferences button, this can show you all the different tests that we're able to perform with this machine. However, we're only doing the COVID-19, so that's the one that we're going to press, COVID-19. And so you say enable the COVID-19 and then we're going to hit OK because it is enabled. You can go back to home. Your preferences. Preferences just allows you to change the language. It allows you to change the sound, that little beeping noise that you heard, and or it allows you to change the brightness. If you hit about, about would just tell you more about the machine. It gives you the serial number and things of that nature. You can go back to the home tab. This is the logout. We never really use logout because you do not have to turn off these machines um, unless the machine is being taken somewhere else. You can keep the machine plugged up and it can stay on. The review memory tab is for reviewing patient results or searching quality control test results. In order for you to review a patient test results, you're going to hit patient test results. Um, if you have a patient that has come to you at 8 o'clock in the morning, they had their test done, however they lost their results, you're going to go to search results. Search results will allow you to put in the patient's last name and it will allow you to search it that way. Right? So if you want to search up a patient's results, you type in their very last names. So like CHR, which is my last name, you'll hit that and then you'll be able to pull up those. It'll tell you exactly when those patients came in for their test and it'll also tell you whether or not they were negative and or positive. It tells you the date and it tells you the time and then you're able to print that up. And then now um, you have to run a QC test. Your QC test is the very first thing that you're going to do to your machine because it will not allow you to do anything else as far as running tests without your QC test being done. So that's the first step that we're going to do. We're going to run QC test. And again, we are running a QC test for the COVID-19, so we're going to select COVID-19. Two quality controls must be performed, one for a positive test and one for a negative test. Follow these steps. Select Run QC Test. You can perform either the negative or positive test. Open the package marked with a 1. This is your base. This is important. Never touch or hold the prongs of the base with your fingers. 
on the back of this base there's a little barcode here when you put this inside of here it allows the light here it will read it so this stops you from being able to use that base more than once because it reads it as you sit it into there please read along with the machine it will prompt you to insert the base Open package number two. Take out the blue receiver. Here it tells you to peel and lift this. You're just gonna lift this little thing up. You will not take it off, just only lift it up. Drop it into the blue well. Do not remove the foil on receiver. At this time your machine will do a three minute warm up. Once the warm-up is complete, use your index and middle fingers, spread them apart. You'll use these fingers to hold the receiver down while you carefully pull off the foil to expose fluid inside of receiver. Be sure not to lift the receiver out of the well as the machine may reject the receiver. Both negative and positive quality control swabs come in foil packaging. One will say positive and one will say negative. Take your positive or negative swab, rotate in a circular motion for 10 to 12 seconds. Please note, you have 7 minutes to complete this. If this is not completed within this time, your QC test will be rejected. Temporarily store the swab to the side. Do not discard yet. If your QC is invalid, you can reuse the swab on the next attempt. Take your white cartridge from package 2 and make sure it's oriented correctly. Push it into the blue receiver. When you do this, you must verify two things in order to proceed. You must hear a click, and you must see the orange button pop up. If this does not occur, your test will be invalid. Let me repeat, you must hear a click, and you must see the orange button pop up. If this, if this does not occur, your test will be invalid. Take the white cartridge out of the receiver and place it into the orange base as shown. You must hear a click and you must see the orange button go down. If this is not done, your test will be invalid. Please read the prompts on the screen. You have 30 seconds to close the lid and 10 minute test will begin. If the lid is not closed in 30 seconds, the test will come out and you will need to perform a new test from the beginning. This is when the swab would come in handy. If your test is invalid, it will come back in less than five minutes, and when it does, you can reuse it for a repeat QC test. Once the QC is complete, print out the label and place it on the Abbott ID Now box. Hit New Test. Follow the prompts, open the lid, Take the cartridge and base and insert in the back into the blue receiver. You must rock the three pieces back and forth and then pick them up and dispose all three into a garbage. This is not a biohazardous material. Follow the prompts, close the lid. The machine will run a 40 second self test and then you're ready to repeat the same steps for the next QC. Proceed to the other QC test and repeat this process. Wipe down the machine with a 70% isopropyl alcohol swab, making sure to avoid the wells. Now you're ready for the next test. After both QCs are completed, and when it comes time to collect a specimen from an individual, you must put on full personal protective equipment. On the Abbott machine, hit New Test, then hit Run Test. 
When it asks what kind of test you would like to run, select COVID-19. Enter in the patient's name in this format, last name, comma, first name. Hit the check marks to confirm the patient information. Then I hit run test, I'm gonna hit okay, that's what I wanna do. It's gonna tell me to do exactly what we did for the other test. I'm gonna open the lid. The machine will then instruct you to get your orange base in package one and place it into the orange well with the QR code facing the light. Wait until the machine recognizes the orange base as inserted and proceed to putting the blue receiver from package two into the blue well. Leave the foil on the receiver. Once this is in place, the machine will run a three minute warm up. Once the warm up is complete, use your index and middle fingers, spread them apart. You'll use these fingers to hold the receiver down while you carefully pull off the foil to expose fluid inside of receiver. Be sure not to lift the receiver out of the well as the machine may reject the receiver. You have seven minutes to collect the specimen or else it will time out. Have patients sit down and take three deep breaths to relax. Instruct them to tilt head back and slightly lower their mask. Insert the swab until there is slight resistance and twist back and forth five times gently. Remove swab and repeat in other nostril when patient is ready. Provide the patient with a tissue in case their eyes water. With the specimen collected, insert the tip into the well of the blue receiver and swirl for 10 to 12 seconds. Temporarily store the swab to the side. Do not discard yet. If your test is invalid, you can reuse the swab on the next attempt. Take your white cartridge from package two and make sure it's oriented correctly. Push it into the blue receiver. When you do this, you must verify two things in order to proceed. You must hear a click and you must see the orange button pop up. If this does not occur, your test will be invalid. Let me repeat, you must hear a click and you must see the orange button pop up. If this does not occur, your test will be invalid. Take the white cartridge out of the receiver and place it into the orange base as shown. You must hear a click and you must see the orange button go down. If this is not done, your test will be invalid. Close the lid within 30 seconds or it will time out. The machine will run the test with a 10 minute countdown. If the results appear in less than five minutes, it is likely either positive or invalid. Once the test has completed, print out the result. Hit New Test. The machine will instruct you to discard the base cartridge and receiver in the trash, as was done in the QC test. Wipe down the machine with a 70% isopropyl alcohol swab making sure to avoid the wells. Now you're ready for the next test.